semi reader, Crowsong. And today I will be reading to you from Never Left by Plastic Bag 3207. Now on to chapter 16. Russia yawned and stretched as he woke up. He missed having chips at the foot of his bed. It was nice. The man stood and made his way downstairs to make himself a cup of coffee. He sipped the warm drink out of his mug. He glanced at the time and jumped a little. Russia set the coffee down and ran upstairs to quickly pull on some clothes for his meeting. He ran back downstairs and finished his coffee before grabbing a large folder and heading towards the door. He pushed the door open and heard a yelp and something fall into his bushes. What the heck? He thought. He carefully opened the door and stuck his head out to see a very annoyed-looking Chips sticking his head out of a bush. Wait a minute, Russia mumbled under his breath. He thought for a moment. The man reached into his pocket and called Antarctica. After ringing a few times, Antarctica finally answered. Hello, it's Antarctica. How may I help you? Russia heard Antarctica say. The man on the other side sounded tired. Oh, hello, Antika. Sorry if I woke you up, but we have a situation. Russia said, looking at Chips, who he was helping get out of the bush. What's wrong? You will see Chips anywhere. No, we were just about to call you because we've been searching all around the house and can't find him. Um, yeah, well, I found him. He's sitting in front of my door. It went dead silent for a moment or two. How did he even manage to get to your house with an injured leg? Hell if I know, Russia said, looking back to Chips. Hey, can we figure this out later? I need to be at the meeting. Oh crap, I'm going to be late. Russia picked up Chips and set him down in the passenger seat before getting into the driver's seat. Okay, yeah, talk later. Bye. Bye, Russia said before hanging up and speeding off to his meeting. Chips just watched him as he did his best not to get a speeding ticket. He knew he couldn't leave Chips in the car because it was too warm, so he trapped the dog and carried him into the UN building. Sure, it wasn't a UN meeting, but it was basically the office building for all countries. He speedwalked through the hallways to the room where he and other countries, a part of the G20, were meeting. They all looked over to him as he stood in the doorway. Germany rose a brow in confusion. Is that Chips? I thought that... Yeah, we don't know, Russia said, cutting the man off. He looked around and set the dog in one of the chairs before taking a seat himself. For the most part, the meeting was uneventful. He understood that it was supposed to be important, but he was stuck thinking about how Chips had even managed to get to his house. It was a four-hour drive from the UN office to Antarctica and Greenland's house. Russia! Hello! Germany said, waving a hand in front of the taller man's face. Hmm? He said, finally snapping out of it. Germany sighed. Here's the paperwork, he said, sliding Russia a large folder filled to the brim with paperwork. Russia's eyes widened. Sure, sure, this is a lot. I don't know if I can. Chill, you don't have to do all of it. Most of it is honestly just a waste of paper. So don't worry too much. The German looked over to Chips, who was sleeping in the chair. He looked quite peaceful. You gonna keep him? He asked. Russia looked over at the sleeping dog. I don't know. I'd like to. 
It just feels wrong to be apart from him, you know? He said, staring at the dog. Germany smiled and nodded. <laughs> yeah, I feel the same way about Fritz. He said, smiling as he remembered the first time he met the dog. I'm not sure how I'm going to tell Antarctica and Greenland, though. What if they want them back? Russia said, putting his face into his hands. Germany set his hand on Russia's shoulder. I'm sure they'll understand, he said. Russia pulled out his phone and called Antarctica, telling him that he wanted to keep chips and sorry for all the trouble. Antarctica laughed lightly, saying that he understood and thought it was better this way too. They both decided over the weekend he could come over and drop off all of Chip's stuff. Russia smiled as he hung up and looked over to Chip's, who was wagging his tail and looking back. The man leaned over and hugged the dog making sure not to hurt him. Germany chuckled as Chips licked the side of Russia's face. You know, Poland is going to be very happy that Chips is staying. He was a little angry that you thought you couldn't keep him. He wanted to leave the decision up to you. He's your dog, after all, Germany said, helping Russia collect his things. Really? Russia said, chuckling a little. Yeah, he was saying things like, What's Fritz gonna do when he can't play with Floppy? Duxie won't play with him. And, I don't want Floppy to go. It was pretty funny, actually. I wish I got it on video. Germany said, laughing a little. Well, it's almost lunchtime. I should be heading back now and going through all those papers. Russia said, bending over and picking chips up. The dog grunted, almost as if he was protesting against being carried, but at the same time he was cuddling into Russia's chest. A strange dog indeed. And that's the end of this chapter. I hope you enjoyed. Anyway, I'd like to invite you to join the Discord, which is linked down in the description below. That being said, I hope you have a nice rest of your day, night, or whatever it is for you. Just enjoy your time. And I will see you tomorrow.